Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first episode of our podcast. Uh, today, we're going to be uh, focusing on the subject that is uh, being a Twitch streamer. We have um, Joe Billy with us. I'll let you introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Joe Billy. <laughs> you might know him as the streamer tips guy. He's been posting a lot of um, pictures on Facebook groups for uh, Twitch streamers. And uh, those pictures generally um, have a little text that has an advice on how to become a, a better streamer. And, uh, and today we're, we're going to be talking about this subject. So um, what are the basic things that makes you get interested um, to stay longer on a streamer's channel? So you want me to answer this one here? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'll let you. <laughs> All right. You so being that I'm a streamer and I don't, I don't view too often, though I think it's important. Generally, I go where there is not a lot of people. When there's a streamer and he's got like 10 viewers or less viewers, um, I'll hop in there and I'll start talking to him and see what's going on and actually try to help him and find out, you know, why he's streaming why did why did he start try to find out all these uh um answers to these questions just to really try to help um that's what i kind of do as a streamer i don't really particularly view um but it is important if you're a streamer you need to you need to go into other streamers channels and view and network a little bit network networking is really important if you want to brand yourself right get your channel out there more um of course there's rules that i believe that you should abide by not like you know just Oh, I'm gonna go into uh, this dude's uh, channel. He's streaming. He's trying to do the same thing I'm doing, and then just spam my channel in his chat. <laughs> yeah, um, you're gonna get you're, you're gonna make uh, enemies really quickly by doing that. So there's just a few you know rules, and we'll probably do a podcast later on that, um, yeah. kind of like the, the what not to do. But for now, I mean, generally, I just I I go in to. Um, help other other streamers out you'd say you you um you're basically going to try to, to connect with the streamer when you go in, in in view right pretty much pretty much and and by doing that and offering help and assistance um you know generally people will, will warm up to you better when you're when you're interested if you show interest they're going to show interest in you that's true um that's a that's a very key thing that's really why i think it's important to to view um even though i don't do it you know, a lot, I still take the time to show interest in other people and try to help um, in areas where I can. And that in turn draws them to come watch my channel and their viewers come watch my channel. So that's really what I have to say about like me watching, watching other streamers. Um, you know, most streamers in, in the popular ones too, I'm sure that they do some kind of networking or they watch streams. They're not just totally focused in on their stream. Yeah. Um, you know, they'll pop in their friend streamers or, or if they're, you know, being hosted by someone else. Yeah. Take it away, Gail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's pretty much the same thing for me. Well, I, I, I do watch a lot of um, a lot of. Wait, wait, you're you're more considered like a like you were telling me you're you're more of a viewer than a streamer. Yeah. Like, yeah, you stream often. Yeah, I, I or, you know, commonly definitely but. watch more than than I stream. Because um, I'm on Twitch um, every single day. There's not a day where I'm not on Twitch um, watching um, several channels, whether it's huge channels or, or, or smaller channels. But the goals are pretty much the same, I'd say. I, I still go there and try and connect with the streamer. It's, it's, it's more difficult when you're watching a big streamer because mm -hmm. like the chat is going crazy and, and you can't really communicate personally you know so it's it's kind of hard to connect when you feel like this person doesn't know i i exist even though i'm here every day you know so right and some, and i know that that probably feels pretty different you know just messaging versus talking exactly um and vice versa for, for the streamer too and you know and talking to yourself um kind of when you first start for really any new streamers is a little can be a little awkward yes <laughs> and, but you know just more that you do it um you kind of ignore it um you know if you have like family or other people you know just um if you just explain to them like hey this is what i'm doing and you know may sound like i'm talking to myself <laughs> but um i'm actually talking to people they can only communicate with me through chat yeah um you know but but just it's 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 a very different feeling 
Yeah, it's true. It, it's for, for both people, for both the viewer and the and the streamer. And this is also why I, I really, really enjoy smaller streamers because um, you can already make that connection as soon as you get in chat, you know, like, you know, you're going to say something in chat and this person like 30 seconds later <laughs> is going to read it and going to react to it, going to, to right. respond. And, and that that connection right. is, is really is really why I watch um, most of the streams. Um, I really watch bigger channels because generally they're they're funny or they display some sort of um, skill that I want to have or something like that. But I mostly watch smaller streamers because <laughs> because I guess they pay attention to their to their viewers and um, and that's something that's pretty important. It's like you're hanging out with friends, but it's just strangers and right. It is more personable. Yeah. It is more personable because you got to think, okay, you want to be a streamer or, you know, even for the viewer, if you're, if you're a streamer and you have, I don't know, 10,000 followers and you got 5,000 people talking in your chat, you know, is that, what, what kind of, you know, situation does that put on the streamer yeah. and what kind of situation does that put on the viewers? Because you type your comment and it's going to get lost. That's true. You know, whereas... For the streamer, I mean, is he going to read your comment? Is he going to read every single comment? No, he's playing a game. He's got a lot to manage. Streamers have a lot to manage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're monitoring their video. They're monitoring the chat. People that, you know, shouldn't be in the chat. Um, you know, is there is there game um, looking okay for, you know, other viewers like myself personally? I watch my own stream, too, while I'm streaming to make sure that it's clear to make sure it's not lagging um which is a tip that i recommend <laughs> that's what you gain an extra viewer on twitch yeah. <laughs> so you know if anyone's complaining <laughs> if anyone's complaining oh i got zero viewers watch your own channel yeah. like on your computer or, or <laughs> on tv or something like that if you have an xbox or playstation yeah, or, even, or, you know, whatever. even on your phone like some people um pull up their chats like if you don't have a dual yeah, monitor pull it up on your phone you have a tablet or a phone, just just pull it up. But yeah. So the second question um, we would have to answer here is, what is the one thing that would make you click away? If you just got on a stream, you don't know the streamer, it's your first time watching, what would be, well, I should say, what would be a list of things <laughs> that would make you leave the stream immediately? Face cam. <laughs> Not having a face cam. <laughs> <laughs> okay that was unexpected <laughs> yeah so so and and generally and as i mentioned like prior to this question mm -hmm. um what i do when i for what when i watched other streamers is really just to help them and if i enter a stream and there's no face cam i say hey bro get a face cam <laughs> you know you you know oh i don't have one oh, I, I i can't get one you know that's fine but you're you're missing out you're missing out when you don't put your face up there because people, that's just the way people connect. They can put a face to a voice. Now, some people, there's some streamers that do not have face cams whatsoever. And then these, like the viewers have this constant wonder of, oh my gosh, what does this person look yeah. like? <laughs> so in some cases it does work. But personally, I just, if, if the person doesn't have a, a face cam, I think they're really missing out on, on viewers and just a more personal level. Yeah, I understand. Well, but to be honest, my favorite streamers don't have face cams, but I do, um, I do recommend it a lot because um, I think you don't, you don't a um, hundred percent need it, but it's a lot harder to grow without it because um, I, I've been guilty of that too. I've, I've been in streams where um, the person, the streamer wasn't talking and I wondered, uh, is he AFK or what's going on? And I was just five seconds in, I was already bored because there was um, no music, no, no, no one talking and no face cam to, to indicate a, a presence, you know? So I was like, am I just watching someone's screen? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, he's AFK, so I just clicked away, you know? So having a face right. cam is, is kind of important because as soon as you click on the, on, on the stream, you see someone, like someone is there, you know? So you can talk to him because you see him. It, 
him or her basically is there so you can already communicate right. and do that that connection that you came on to do um another thing that makes me usually click away if unless there's some crazy stuff happening on the stream would be um um the channel art like it it kind of sounds unfair because because uh, i'm a graphic designer and i do channel arts but when i come on a stream and and, and there's zero channel art um no avatar no banners no uh, descriptions i immediately think oh this person is just trying out streaming um this person doesn't take streaming um seriously and this person might just stop streaming i don't know there's there's a little i know twitch is supposed to be um a hobby <laughs> most of everything right but it really feels unprofessional in 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 a way so so i don't know i just click for, away for the so, person trying to grow yeah, themselves yeah and, the time, and I, yeah and i agree what i tend to do is like I, i'll watch for a couple of seconds and then if i'm interested i will have i will have like a couple of questions in my head that i could of course i could ask the streamer but i'm like oh if they have a description maybe i'll get some right. of those um answers so i just scroll down right. And it's, I don't know, to me, anyways, it's really, really disappointing when you scroll down and there's just nothing. <laughs> I right. really, really don't appreciate that. And I think that. that goes back to engagement. Yeah. Because, you know, like you were saying before, and, and that's, that's too, like, something like, I guess why I would only watch for a little bit, even though I want to help the streamer, and then, and then move on. Yeah. Because um, there's more people I could help. But, like, yeah, if, the, if they don't have something eye-catching, if they're not engaging in some way, whether that's in their channel, in their panels, um, whether they're talking, um, if they're not engaging, then, I mean, I can just go watch this gameplay somewhere else. Because sometimes I'll do that. I'll look up a game. Oh, I want to see the gameplay on this. And I won't care you know, who I watch. Yeah. I just want to see gameplay. Sometimes if someone refers to you, like um, if I know the streamer, I think it's really funny. Um I want to send his link, his Twitch link to a friend saying, oh, you should watch right. this guy sometimes. And, <laughs> and you click on the link. The guy is offline, but has no banners, no avatars and no description. <laughs> yeah. It's, Who is this guy? Yeah, it, 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 you really don't want to click that follow button. You know? Right. You don't feel like there's something. <laughs> What have you done to me? It feels empty, you know? Yeah, absolutely. That's a perfect word for that. Basically something that... that that is um, a good transition to the to the next question that would be like can we make a list of all the little things that a new streamer should have before his first stream as i said before all the channel art to me would fall into that category if you don't um know like if you don't use photoshop or something like that i think you should kind of look it up put some or, kind of picture get some yeah. kind of stock image yeah just have um, a little personality um customize your twitch channel something that you like just something that's relatable to everybody exactly. put a dog in there put a cat on there if you like those yeah and that'll draw people because if you know if that's the type of crowd you want to draw i think that's the first question you got to ask yourself what's the type of crowd that i want to draw that's true uh, you're not going to get everybody you're not going to get everybody that's on twitch watching the world no that's true <laughs> not everyone's got to follow you i think that's what the news streamers need to understand mm. if you try to make everybody like you you're going to make nobody like that's you. true um so i mean target to have a target audience um be personable just show your interests and people will naturally be interested show interest and um they'll have interest in you What are, what are your thoughts on, on um, gear? Basically, spending a lot of money on gear before streaming or, or going in the cheap way, having a basic mic and, and, and maybe... Unnecessary? Yeah, yeah. What, what are your thoughts on Very that? Very unnecessary. Really? Because <laughs> I know I spent having, a lot of money and then I, I, later on I regretted it because it really wasn't... Yeah, oh, wow, I need all the best stream gear. And it's like, you know what? If you spend $1,000 in all your equipment... You know, I mean, if you have the money, sure, go ahead, you know, yeah. blow it all and, and set up your stream and do it for a month and then quit. You know, <laughs> that's fine. Go ahead that route. You know, but some people that are a little more serious and they, they're really considering spending, you know, a boatload of money that they don't have and they go and do it. And then, you know, they get, you know, uh, uh, 
just disappointed because they're not getting the results. Yeah. No, yeah, well, um, I have to agree um, on that. And because um, I've heard a lot of people ask about the, the, the micro. The, to be honest, when I stream, I use like a, a 12, 12 euro uh, microphone and uh, and it sounds great. It, it really sounds um, good. You don't need to have the latest, the, the, the most expensive gear to to be a streamer yeah people don't care uh, people do not care about what you have exactly. they care about the results exactly they they and i know there's like you. different qualities and stuff you know but they, they want they want to care about you yeah you could be streaming my little pony <laughs> and and you know if whatever you know yeah. and if you're very if you're humorous like that you know because people will watch you play ridiculous games if you want to be that type of person. Yeah. There's like no set way, but you don't have to have the latest and greatest. Sure, it may help if you're established and if you want to provide better quality because you know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But I'd say if you're just starting out, I mean, test the waters a little bit. I started with, I think my laptop was like, I don't know, you know, it wasn't a thousand dollars. You know, I had like a little, it's like a five-year-old laptop probably spent like 200 bucks on it and i have an xbox and uh i mean that's how i got started there's already streaming software on the xbox one yeah i got my laptop here so i'm watching the stream and i got to connect so i mean my total investment was see i don't know it's probably like 600 bucks but i mean i'm playing the xbox anyway i'm using my laptop yeah. for other stuff besides streaming exactly yeah it's, you it's know. the same for me like i'd say that. another key another key thing is just to stay consistent yep yeah, yeah, yeah. because once, once you stop once you stop for like a week it's just like working out or you know various other things if you're not constantly doing it you're gonna lose it quick that's true and every time you restart it's like you're starting over again so pretty much yeah it's it's that's that's a that's like the biggest um, advice if you really want to, to, to do it. Start and don't stop, seriously. you know. Like, yeah, you really have to be consistent. But yeah, if you really want to, to make it make it big, pretty much, in, in the streaming game, you really have to be really, really consistent. It's like when you see, um, when a streamer, um, when Paul, well, I was talking about scrolling down on the channel. When you scroll down and you see that the yeah. streamer has a schedule, that puts that streamer... Um, on top basically because if if you connect with that person just like we were saying and you're like oh i want to see more of that person and that yeah there's certain types schedule. of people that do look for that stuff like exactly. is this person is he gonna do what he says he's gonna do yeah. i've had schedules and have i ever stuck to them <laughs> no but you know what's important, I've never had you know what's important? <laughs> if you let the person know hey i'm not gonna be on streaming like i said i was gonna be you know yeah don't just leave somebody hanging dry you know if you say you're gonna oh if you have one person and you tell that person, hey, tomorrow I'm going to stream at 4 o'clock. Yeah. And then you don't? What does that say about you? That's true. Even though it's only one person, it's still a person. This is another great tip. Is like you, 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 um, if you're really streaming seriously, you need to have a Twitter account or any social media that relays your stream, that, that keeps people um, up to date with what's going on. I'm streaming today. I'm not streaming today because of this, because of that. So people can expect. Yeah, have like a fan page on uh, on Facebook or on or, Facebook or, or, at um, least or something. Twitter. I think Twitter is the one that uh, most streamers use because like f f facebook is kind of dying <laughs> but uh <laughs> but yeah any social media even instagram i have no a, a lot of um i know a lot of streamers that have an instagram page and they update everyone or even snapchat like anything just have a social media platform where you can um talk to your audience it's not because you heard about twitch and you heard about um how streamers are making a lot of money or stuff like that that you need to just start Right off the bat, you need to go in streams and um, and of course support small streams. Talk to them, see how 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 it's going for them. Because um, streaming can be super cool and it can it can suck too if you have high expectations. Because people don't know that um, the biggest streamers when they started they had zero viewers for a couple of months you know so this can get pretty it can get pretty pretty sad when you're sitting at home alone for five hours straight and no one <laughs> comes in your chat but that's how it is that's how twitch is there's there's unless you're a marketing god and and you, you're paying for for some ads for your stream or stuff like that you're not gonna have 
tens of thousands of viewers the first day so so just try to keep your stream entertaining even if there's um no one watching something that i do is that i don't look at my um my viewer count i hide it because i really don't want to to be i don't know i don't want to be i don't want to feel down because i'm seeing that number one from for like for two hours you know right well i mean you know Looking at the viewer count, in my opinion, see, I, I like this, you know, because, like, you, you don't look at the viewer count. Me, personally, I do look at the viewer count because I say, okay, I've been streaming this long. I've got five viewers now. Mm -hmm. What can I do to make it 10 viewers? What can I do to make it this many viewers? Oh, okay. You know, I see. when I jump on, you know, it's basically how can I improve myself? You can't look at it as a negative thing. You can't... Uh, you can't look at it that way. Yeah, I understand. Look at, okay, if I if I am not getting one viewer in five hours of streaming, I am doing something wrong. Yeah. No, that's a, that's a really so good way. It. That's a really, really good way to, to look at it. I've never thought of it like that, to be honest. <laughs> what, what other um, advice you could give, uh, Joe? I'd just say, yeah, just uh, keep networking. Um, of course, organically generated, um, I guess you could say, uh, leads for uh you know viewers or, or anyone or just people in general you know to trying to get them to come to watch you play you know like if you're streaming a specific game go to that group page and say you know not right away hey i'm a streamer <laughs> get to know everybody post a little bit you know it takes time or organically getting your um following takes a lot longer um, it's more rewarding though, and uh, if you just uh, keep being uh, consistent and uh, you stick to it, uh, it'll all uh, it'll all fall in line for you. So yeah, that's that's uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's some good advice. <laughs> so um, so yeah, I think that's gonna be it for um, for this episode. I think we pretty much uh, talked about a, a lot of stuff, not in maybe not in details, but we'll have more episodes on on specific things. We just wanted to talk about the the, the general aspect of being a new streamer and what to expect, what, what to expect, and and also um, what to have in mind when you're starting. So um, this is this this is um, this has been fun. <laughs> has been fun. We're just gonna. Um, I would just like to have um to plug in something a i would like to give a shout out to the facebook group because we were talking about facebook groups uh earlier is the twitch connect facebook group and i believe you also have a, a facebook group uh joe what's it called well, right now it's just streamer tips but um probably be changing that soon <laughs> here but uh so you my fan page will be uh joe bro tv so nice. there's nothing on it. I'm sorry, Gil. You probably <laughs> won't join that because there's no profile picture or, or cover photo on it. So uh, you're gonna so, be missing so out. Joe Bro. It's a it's Joe Bro TV. So that's basically um, that's not my channel, but it's my fan page. Oh, all right. Um, that's on Facebook, right? That's on Facebook. Okay, perfect. So um, if you're a new streamer, or or if even if you're an experienced streamer and you would like to grow your following and 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 have a a good, safe, uh, respectful uh, community. I really recommend the Twitch Connect uh, Facebook group because um, I second. Yeah, it's re it's really good. We have a lot of admins and moderators, and we do a lot of giveaways, and we we even highlights uh, we even I highlight um, one streamer every week, and basically everyone goes and follows that streamer. It's it, it's it's pretty cool. Well, um, I think that, <laughs> that does it for our first episode. And um, see you guys later. That's a wrap. Thanks, everyone.